Amid the federal lawsuit filed against UConn, a hearing will be held looking into how colleges and universities right here in Connecticut handle reports of sexual assaults. News 8's Ken Pierce live in our New Haven newsroom this noon with more on how the state is making sure that schools are well equipped, equipped rather, for these kind of situations. Ken. And Keith, that federal lawsuit you mentioned is from women who say UConn's sex assault policy was not sufficient when they were attacked. UConn pledged to do better at a trustees meeting this morning and hearings in Hartford this afternoon. We'll look at how all the schools in the state are doing at complying with this new law. Last month, seven UConn students said they were victims of sexual assault and UConn did not take their complaints seriously. A state law signed last year was designed to prevent just that. It forces all colleges and universities to have public policies on sexual misconduct. So if someone comes forward with any form of sexual harassment or assault, uh, defines what that definition is. The chair of the Public Safety Committee says today's hearing will bring feedback on how well that law is doing. At the University of New Haven, they started before the new law to update sexual misconduct policies. What sexual assault is, what, um, how victims react to being sexually assaulted, how best to assist them after an assault. Professor Dutton even got a grant from the Department of Justice to fund new ways to stop those assaults at UNH. Sexual misconduct on a college campus is tricky because you're dealing with young people away from their parents for the first time. Often there is drinking involved, so you have to educate them not only not to get into bad situations, but educate them that when something bad happens, it's something they can report. A lot of times uh, victims do not report a sexual assault uh, or a rela you know, relationship violence or stalking because it is someone they know. What it is, how to report it, what happens when you do report it, those are all things every school is required to update. So we as a state need to have guidelines in place to protect those individuals and have them feel comfortable if they feel that there's something, an allegation or some incident that happens against them. Representative Dargan there is one of the chairmen heading up this afternoon's hearing in Hartford. Meanwhile, on the Yukon campus this morning, the Board of Trustees met. All the reports say officials are pledging to crack down and that sexual assaults there will not be tolerated. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.